Okay, so I need to start off by saying that the video I made of what I got my kids for Christmas, um, I didn't post it in time, but I mean, people love watching them for many reasons, but um, one of the reasons is they like to see what people got for their kids because, you know, maybe it'll give them some ideas. But the fact of the matter is, everybody knows kids are very easy to shop for. I mean, ridiculously easy. Um, every child likes something different, so you don't need to know what I got my kids. Um, but I will still insert a clip of what I filmed because there's a reason that I ended up returning, I would say, 80% of what I got my kids. So, um, these RC cars, um, and I want to show the address, but this is I, the slip that I, um, print, printed out for the return because I got them on Amazon. They're in the box, ready to be shipped. Um, I just have to, um, take them to the Amazon facility because... If I did it with any other method, they were gonna charge me, so I kept anything Amazon was doing. But, um, and the other thing I kept is what they asked is Santa to get them because they're five and I still want them to believe that Santa is real. Um, and everything that I got them that is going in their stocking is still going in their stocking. It's nothing I can return anyway. Um, and then the two small gifts, um, the three actually, so um, personalized gifts that each one is getting for my husband and I. Um, the puzzle, the little dry thing, um, and a nightlight. I'm gonna get one more of these and um, the other one is getting, instead of a puzzle, she's getting the Goldilocks thing, uh, Goldie Blocks, um, and also the um, sequence drawing thing. Um, but <clears throat> I returned everything else. I kept all of my son's gifts. I'm still here, but he's one and a half, and Christmas doesn't mean the same thing to him him yet so let me get into the reason okay this should work <laughs> so um i don't have a tripod um and i'm still filming on my camera so on my camera on my phone um so trying to set this up anyway those are my son's gifts right there and why did I return most of my kids, twin girls, gifts? So I know you're going to think they're just kids. It's not their fault. But I'm a big believer in a higher power. I don't have to call him God or her. Um, we don't even have to refer to it as religion. For me, there's a higher power, and my belief in that higher power, um, <laughs> I, I'm kind of starting off backwards, but it, it, it has to go with my explanation. Um, when I filmed that video of what I got my kids for Christmas, I s just kept thinking, Oh my God, it's so much. Oh my God. And I kept making explanation after explanation for why I got this and why I got that. There's a million reasons for why I got what I got. Um, and I still, even the things that I returned, I still think, like, oh, she really could have used that. Or she really could have loved that. But... <clears throat> The fact of the matter is, my kids 
aren't already growing up with uh, way more than I ever did. Um, I'm from immigrant parents, only child. My parents worked 20 hours a day and they really did the best that they could. Um, but we didn't celebrate Christmas. We celebrated Hanukkah. You don't get money. I mean, you, get money. you don't get presents for Hanukkah. You get Hanukkah guilt. Anyway, long story short is I would get one gift for New Year's. And I always love the tradition of Christmas just for my kids. And my husband celebrates it anyway. So, I, well... He doesn't celebrate. He doesn't care about Hallmark holidays. Um, he's Armenian and Armenian Christmas, I believe, is January 7th or 6th. Um, but the point I'm making is I was making this video and I pulled out all the stuff. And when you see it in front of you, when you see it, on camera it's just so much and i already make them donate most of their birthday gifts so what am i teaching my kids about this holiday by giving them so much i mean my son is one and a half he doesn't understand anyway and you know he he doesn't have any toys and they know that this. The girls know that their brother doesn't really have toys of his own. He already grew out of baby toys and he just plays with their toys. So I really wanted him to have his own things. Um, and it's not anything they would be interested in, in anyway. So that's the reason why I kept his toys. Um, but let me go into how this started. So I was already thinking, oh my God, it's so much. And I'm just looking at the mess behind me, but this is all stuff that needs to be returned. So I'm already thinking, oh my God, it's so much stuff. Oh my God, it's so much stuff. Oh my God, it's so much stuff. And it just kept going through my head and through my head. But I'm thinking I already got it. I already have a plan for it. And it is what it is we'll do better next year. Um, so this is our office and the girls know they're not allowed to come in here, <clears throat> but my husband said something in front of them the other day. Um, this door right there, this is a closet and that's where I've been storing everything. This is also where my husband stores papers, boxes and boxes of papers and files. So, um, he was trying to get to something and all the toys were in the way and he in English said, what are all those toys? Thinking they don't understand yet, but they're already learning so much English. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, what, what are they for? And he knew I was, you know, collecting a bunch of toys for donation and maybe that's what he was thinking, but I was like, what are you doing? So, um, again, long story short, they heard and I said, listen, some of the gifts mom and dad got you are there and there's gifts for other kids, your friends. So please don't go in there because it's about a surprise. And if you see it, it's not going to be a surprise. It's not going to be fun. And I'm just going to have to return it all. Anyway, um, a few days ago, because I had it all pulled out, I was going to put most of it, of it away, um, but I'm, I have to wrap it anyway. And up until this point, they haven't come in here. So it wasn't even on my mind, on my radar. Um, and a couple of days ago, my husband had to leave for work early so they were waiting for me to get ready to go take them to school and um, they came into the my room to get me and I said mom needs three more minutes to get ready 
go downstairs and play. I'll be right down. I finish getting ready. I come downstairs. They're nowhere to be found. So I'm like, where are you? And <laughs> I come up and I see them walking out of the office. And oh my God, I was mortified. My heart. <sighs> I was so upset. I more I wasn't I was angry that they didn't listen, but I was really more upset because I'm like the surprise, it's all ruined, everything. They were like, what is all that? And why is what the gift from Santa out? And so I came up with, you know, Santa can't deliver everyone's presents all in one night. So he delivers them, you know, kind of a month in advance. And um, yours just came in yesterday and that's why they were out. Um, but now that you saw them, they're just gonna magically disappear. Kind of on the cuff, made it up. And they start crying and I feel awful but I'm also on the verge of tears because I'm like, oh my God, Christmas is ruined. So as they're crying, I run upstairs and I quickly put things in the closet and I said, it's gone. And they're like, no, it's not. I said, yes, it is. No, it's not, they're saying. And I said, well, go look. They came up and they saw that Santa's gifts and other big gifts for mom and dad were gone. And I said, well, that's what happens when you don't listen, number one. And number two, when you see things that are supposed to be a surprise, they disappear. They're five. So a part of them is like, what? But another part of them is like, oh my God, what if this is really true? So I thought, okay, let me use this to my advantage. And I told them that if they're really, really, really good up until Christmas, I will call Santa and I will convince him to return the gifts that he brought. Um, I said, for what mom and dad got you, again, it all depends on your behavior. And they were soldiers that whole day. They were like little soldiers, whatever. I said, put on your shoes. It didn't take a half an hour. Magically they can put on their shoes in a minute. Who knew? <laughs> so it lasted for a day. The next day, they were not bad, but kind of slowly going back to their normal um, bratty five-year-old selves. And, you know, we have good days and bad days, but I keep saying, you know, Oh, because your behavior hasn't been good. I, I returned one gift and you flipped out yesterday. Another gift got returned. And then I'm thinking, ah, I don't want Christmas. This, this wasn't my intent. My intent was to make them happy. My intent was ah, to make this so amazing and magical for them but it was ruined because it's not a surprise anymore and yes they still would have been happy to receive it but I want them to know that this holiday isn't just about getting a ton of stuff I want my kids to understand that this holiday although the country they're growing up in and the environment they're growing up in is going to always lead you to believe that this holiday is about gifts. It's not. It's about giving. Yes, receiving, but mostly about giving. So they will be getting Santa's gifts, um, mom and dad's, and stockings but all the big ticket items I returned and I was talking to my husband and I said you know I'm returning it for so many reasons but the other reason is they don't need all this plastic stuff 
like that cart of tea cart, whatever it's called. Oh my God, they have so many little tea set things. And I thought, oh, they'll have fun pushing the little cart around and giving people tea. But what? What? They have so many toys that they have fun with. And it's just more plastic. Why do we need so much plastic in our lives? And my husband agrees with me 100%. They don't need all this. They don't need all that plastic. So instead of all those big toys, we decided to get them something that is going to be lasting. Something that's going to last them for years and is going to be educational and big purpose behind it. So let me get it. Okay. So my girls have had mini iPads in those um, really strong kid-friendly cases. And they've had them for about three years. Um, yeah, since they were two, two and a half. Um, we actually got them for a hundred bucks. Um, it was a promotion. We were getting new phones and it was a promotion at the time that um, if you buy a new iPhone, you get a mini iPad for a hundred dollars. So we couldn't pass it up. What they didn't tell us is that it comes with data, um, which we've had to keep off. Anyway. They've had these mini iPads and we really only give it to them on flights, sick days, doctor's appointments, or when mommy needs a break. Mommy needs a break a lot, but I don't use that. Um, really, I wouldn't even say they get their iPads once a month unless they're sick off and on, um, or again, unless we're traveling. Um, I think it's been at least a month since, since they had their iPad. Um, so it once every couple of months, really, and no more than a half an hour at a time. Um, and they've been really good about it. They don't beg for it. They know, but they're so, so excited when they get it. I mean, so excited. It really keeps them occupied. But the reason why they haven't been getting it a lot is because they're, they've grown out of the games that I downloaded and they just watch YouTube. That's all they want to do. And I mean, I've caught them watching stuff that I really don't want them to watch. And yeah, I put the parent locks and I the um, YouTube kids, but you, even YouTube kids, stuff that they think is appropriate for kids, in my mind, sorry, it's just stupid and I don't want you watching it. So I really just have to monitor them and constantly see what they're watching. So that is part of the reason that they don't get them a lot. Um, but Every time we go to the Apple store, they play with the new iPads, the ones that have the pen, it's now, but you can use the pens. And I wanted to get them the pens, but they're not compatible with mini iPads, especially because theirs are so old. So these iPads, I mean, I have to get them out. It's the iPad, the sixth generation. It's just 32 gigabytes. Um, it's still not cheap. One each and the pen. And I, and this pen is $99 alone. So yeah, this wasn't a cheap gift, but 
a reason behind it. Number one is they love to draw. So instead of all those drawing toys, they can draw on this. And instead of watching YouTube, they can draw. Um, you can download um, apps to learn numbers, letters, languages, coding. Um, I'm sure there's tons more that I'm not thinking of right now, but we thought it is so much better instead of all this plastic junk to get them something that's going to be really useful. And even though it's an electronic and I'm still going to have to limit it, at least it's not going to be for just watching YouTube. At least I can, they're not old enough to download anything themselves. So I'm going to download educational stuff, some fun things like drawing, some games that they can do with the pen, but it's not going to be just watching things, cartoons, YouTube, whatever. Um, yes, I'll still let them do it when we're traveling off and on, but for the most part, I'm going to be able to say, you can use the iPad to learn your numbers, to learn your letters. It's really hard to get them to sit down and, you know, even those books for your tracing, it's really hard to get them to, for a long time to sit and do it. But on an iPad, I bet you anything they would love to do it. So we returned. 80% of what we got them, I returned 80% of what I got them. Because I'm the one that does the shopping. But we got them this instead. And although they're not going to have a massive amount of things to open on Christmas morning, um, what I did is I ordered those cases again. And I ordered, because these pens, 100 bucks, and you, you better not lose it. So um, I will post up here, um, the, it's a thing that keeps the pen and you can attach it to the case. Um, it also um, has a thing to, this, is, this part is a cap. Um, and when you take the cap off, you plug it in to charge it. So these caps, I'm told, get lost very easily. So the thing that I bought, actually, it's a case for this, and you can attach the case to the iPad case. But it also has a little thing that keeps this from falling off. If it falls off, it's attached. Um, anyway... I'll post it, a picture of it, and I'll put a link for it down below. Um, I mean, there's a million if you just search um, iPad pen attachments. Uh, there even, for adults, there's even cases that already have a holder for the pen, but I wanted those really sturdy, kid-friendly cases, and those don't come with the pen holder, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is to make it more fun because, you know, for an adult or for a teenager, seeing this bag is already, oh, for my kids, they have no idea. So I'm going to put, unpack them, download the apps that I want them to use, um, put them in the cases, and put them in bags and when they open the bags they're going to see a brand new large iPad because they've only had minis and the pen and they're, it's going to be ready to be played with because it's going to be charged with the games so that's going to be exciting for them and they're not going to care even about the toy they wanted from Santa so they're going to get that first <laughs> Because as soon as they get the iPad, I know everything else is, they're not even going to care to look <laughs> in their stocking. So I think maybe we'll do Santa's gift, 
mom and dad's small gifts, stocking, and then the big daddy. I think in the end we spent more money um, because I did buy a lot of toys, but toys are not as expensive as electronics like this. So we did end up spending more money, but it's less stuff. It's educational. And I just think in the end, it's gonna serve them better. They had their last ones for going on three years. And um, I'm gonna keep one for my son and I'm either gonna donate probably donate the other one or give it to a friend um we we have friends that would love their kids to have ipads but they can't afford them so we'll figure out um to give it to one of them uh, maybe even both because by the time my son is old enough to have an ipad i don't know it could be in six months it could be in a year we'll see um so anyway they're gonna have this for a really long time. I mean, a really long time, at least another three to four years. Um, I'm sure they're gonna come out with something better and cooler in a year, but they're gonna have this for a good while. And I don't know when I'm gonna get them next year to beat this. I don't think I'm even gonna try, but the reason why I started with talking about my higher power is I think you get messages from the universe. And I think the video that I made was a message from my higher power, from the universe, however you want to call it. Your kids don't need all this. They don't need it. It's unnecessary. What are you teaching them by giving them so much stuff? And I knew it here and I felt it here, but I just felt like I'm already in it. I'm in too deep. How am I going to get out of it? And them walking in and finding it, it was like, here, I'm giving you what you needed to get out of this because if that didn't happen it wouldn't have driven me to think of something else and it wouldn't have even brought the thought into my head of how do I write this wrong so I think in the end they are going to be way better off because they're still going to be happy. They're still going to be excited as excited can be, but they're not going to think that Christmas is about opening a million gifts. Um, and I know we, some of you might be thinking, oh, they're going to think Christmas is about getting big gifts. Well, no, because it's never happened before and it's not going to happen again, not for a very long time and not unless they really, really, really deserve it. So, and I think they're still young enough where they don't know how much it costs. So to them, it, it's not about, oh, I'm getting something big and expensive. To them, it's about, I'm getting something that I never thought I would get because mom and dad always said, you don't need it, you already have one. Um, but they're still gonna be excited to have the new one with the pen. And I think next year, I'm gonna have to make sure to keep it to a few small things that are gonna be something that they can grow with and not just get them a bunch of stuff for the sake of getting stuff. 
I watch a million exaggeration, of course. I watched at least 20 what I got my kids for Christmas videos because even me find them interesting. And I see so much stuff. I saw this one woman who got her daughter legit probably a thousand dollars worth of lol stuff is it lol yeah those ball dolls anyway like nothing else but lol stuff um like that woman is gonna have little teeny plastic rubbery dolls all over her house if she doesn't already um another woman who got her kids so much stuff and everyone says the same thing oh i know it's excessive but we save all year for this and we shop all year for this i mean everyone says the same thing even i said it but then i look back at it and i think how is that a justification it's not. It's not a justification. Even if I did shop for it all year, even if I bought it yesterday, it doesn't matter. It's still way more stuff than a child needs or should get. And that's not what this holiday is about. So, yeah, some people may think Oh, well, you still spent more. Yes, I spent more. But I spent more on something that's going to last them a very long time. And it's going to be educational. I'm going to make sure that they only have educational things on there. Um, and that's that. I think everyone has the right to do what they think is right for their children. I'm not bashing anybody. It's just my own personal belief. I think if you think your child is going to be the happiest receiving a million LOL dolls, good. Do you. Do you, what you do. What you feel is right for your children. It's just my husband and I, we both feel that all that stuff that we got, that's not what's right for our children. So we'll see. Um, I will film their reaction Christmas morning. I do it for my own posterity, but um, I will share some of it with you guys um, if anyone's interested in seeing. So um, I know at least my family will be happy to see it. So that's it. Um, that is the reason why I had to, just had to, I could have gone around it, but I had to return all that stuff, most of it, and do something different and do something that I, I and my husband both feel is way better for our kids. So have a happy holidays. I hope your kids enjoy whatever they get. And I really, really, really hope that I'm not offending anyone because my intent is just to share my own experience and my own lessons that I learned throughout parenting and life. But everyone has to do what's right for them so have a happy holidays enjoy it and remember this day is about family it's about love it's about life and a little gift <laughs> but that's not what's most important it's really not so I'll see you guys in the new year and stay safe.